Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to add a condition to our surveys and display specific results based on our survey taker's answers. Interested? Let's get started. So the Survey Maker plugin has the conditional results option which will help us to create more engaging surveys and escape from boring ones. So as it was displayed on the demo, there are two variants and based on my answer, the system displayed different messages. For example, where I've answered yes, I've got a special diet plan and when I've answered no, there are no diet plans but a, a specific uh, or individual uh, message based on my answer. Here we can see the scheme of that demo uh, to the question, do you want to lose weight? There are two uh, answers, yes and no. In case we have answered yes, here we can see that there are various PDF files and based on the answer the system will show that PDF file and when we answer no there's only one option that is one PDF file so now let's create our own survey using the conditional results option for that all we need to do is to click on the add new button but to save our time I have already created an example so here we are these are our survey questions now let's move to the conditional results tab and start creating our conditions together. Click on the add conditions button. Here we can see that we have if option. So for example, if the participants answer for the first question, yes. And for the second question, they answer this option uh, or the second option, they will receive the same condition. That is, if they answer for the first question yes, and for the gender they answer female or male, and for age they answer uh, greater than 18 and less than 15, they will receive the same conditions. So in case you want to display more than three, four or five conditions, all we need to do is to click on the add conditions button and then write the question and the condition for it. So here we will have a uh, no, and in case of no, the participants will not receive a diet plan. Here we can see that we have three sections, page, email, and redirect. Uh, in page, you will be able to write a result message, which will be displayed at the end of the survey. Uh, the email section is responsible for email content, that is, we can write the email content there and it will be displayed on the email. In case we have a file, we can attach it by clicking on the Add File button. The redirect section speaks itself. Here we can write the delay and write the URL. That's all. Now all we need to do is to click on the Save Changes button and that is, our conditions are ready. So now you know how to add conditions to your surveys and send individual messages based on the answers. I hope this video was useful for you. See you soon!